Hey guys and welcome to How to Gastro. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a very common and interesting topic and that is the threadworms. So let's get started. So what are threadworms? Threadworms, which are also commonly known as pinworms, are small white thread-like worms which are about 2.5 to 12 millimeters long. These tiny white worms infect the intestines of humans and are a common worm parasite among young kids, particularly those under the age of 10. The worms themselves have a blunt head, a pointed tail, and can live up to six weeks inside the human body. So from this definition of threadworms, we get that it's also commonly known as the human pinworm infection, and it's actually a parasitic infection which usually affects children under the age of 10. So these worms are called threadworms because they have a thread-like structure, they are small, white, and measure from 2.5 to about 12 millimeters long, which is around a centimeter in length. And they have a blunt head and a pointed tail and actually infiltrate the intestines in the human body. And this is actually a very common disease worldwide and affects children from all the way from kindergarten into pre-primary and then primary school levels. But something to note about this disease that even though it's very common in children, these children do come home and can actually spread it to the adults or other children in the home. So it's actually quite a contagious disease as well. But we'll get into that as we go along. So now that we know what the basics of the threadworm infection is, let's take a closer look at how this disease can be spread. So the threadworm is spread when children scratch their bottom, causing the threadworm eggs to collect under their fingernails. The child then carries the worm back to their mouth with their hands and the eggs can survive up to two weeks outside the body and playing a contact sport with their friends or holding hands with a pal in the playground at school can also directly spread the infection. So catching them indirectly can be the result of for example touching food, a door handle, a wash basin tap or a piece of furniture that has previously been touched by someone who's infected. So these worms are especially common in children and infections are often clustered in families, daycare centers and in schools. So if we take a closer look at this picture on the right of my screen, it shows us what the basic spread of this disease looks like. So number one says we have these eggs on the perianal folds. So this is what causes the itchiness that causes the child to actually scratch their bottom and this is how these eggs collect under the fingernails. And then it says the larvae inside the eggs can mature within four to six hours. And then the embryonated eggs are then ingested by a human. So this could be another human from coming into contact with someone who's infected and then putting their hands in their mouth or eating something without washing their hands. And in this way, the infection is spread. So once these embryonated eggs are ingested, we have the larvae, which hatch, which is the actual worm stage now in the small intestine. And then these larvae develop into adults in the lumen of the cecum. So the cecum is the first part of the large intestine, and that's where all the adult worms develop. And we see that the female worms are slightly larger than the male worms. And then finally, point number five says the gravid female migrates to the perianal region at night to lay her eggs. So the female worms then go to the perianal region, which is around the anus, to lay her eggs there. So this is what causes the itchiness for this child, and this is what causes the spread of the disease. So if we take a close look at this image in the middle of my screen, it shows us what the structure of these pinworm stages look like. So this is a pinworm that's infiltrated the small intestine. This is actually an image of what the female pinworm looks like on the internal aspect. This is what the larval and egg stages look like. This is what the gross aspect looks like. This is what the worm looks like on cross-section. And this is actually the worm infiltrating the various layers of the GI tract. So now that we know how this disease can be spread, let's take a close look at some signs and symptoms of this disease. So as we mentioned earlier, the classic symptom of this infection is actually a severe itchy bottom. So the worms can also often be seen during bowel movements or around the anus, especially at night. And this is due to the fact that those females actually go to lay their eggs at night. So this is why the movement of these worms and the females trying to reach the anus and lay their eggs there is actually the very itchy process, which causes the irritation to the patient. So that's why we have this classic symptom of the severe itchy bottom. So the area around the anus is usually red and may have several scratch marks. 
And some other signs and symptoms of this disease include tiredness, a disturbed sleep, irritability, teeth grinding, bedwetting, and a loss of appetite. So now let's talk about the diagnosis of threadworms. So the disease can be diagnosed easily if the parent or the child sees the worms, and this resemble fine pieces of cotton thread up to around 1.5 centimeters long, either in their poop or in the child's underwear. And these worms may also be seen at night around the child's buttocks region. As we said, those female worms coalesce there and begin to lay their eggs during the night. So this is why the night time is usually the best time that one can actually notice and diagnose this disease. Another way to diagnose this disease is by doing the sticky tape test. And this involves gently pressing a clear piece of adhesive tape against the child's anal skin and then examining this tape under a microscope to look for the adult female worms or the eggs. And this is best done first thing in the morning before any of the eggs are washed or wiped away. So during the night, the female will lay their eggs and they'll be concentrated in the buttock region. So that's why the best time to do the sticky tape test is actually first thing in the morning before the child goes to the bathroom or wipes any of those eggs away. So this is actually what the gross aspect looks like of the poop and these worms which are visible in the poop. This is actually what the sticky tape test looks like. So this piece of tape is stuck against the bottom and then pulled off gently. So microscopically we'll either be able to see the adult female pinworms found here or even the eggs which they may have laid. And in these two ways we can actually diagnose this disease. And finally, let's talk about the treatment of the threadworm infection. So mebendazole is the drug of choice to treat this disease and all household members, including the adults and those without symptoms should take a dose at the same time. This is because it is common to have worms in the gut with little or no symptoms. And just one dose will kill the worms and a second dose two weeks after the first is sometimes needed if the infection has not cleared which may occur if the patient swallows some eggs after taking the first dose. So the most common drug on the market is Burmox and the active ingredient here is actually Mebendazole and this is an anti-parasitic agent which works well to kill up all these worms within the GI tract. And that brings us to the end of this video on the threadworms. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And please make sure you turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. If you'd like to download a copy of this presentation, you may do so by clicking the link in the description. Take care and bye for now.